Hey guys, John. Second time. Second time in one year I have come across somebody about to destroy some U.S. history. When I show you in a minute, you'll get a lot more, but you might think, well, what do you mean destroy U.S. history? I'm talking about pieces of U.S. history, important, important artifacts. They're just about to throw in a dumpster. The most important piece I wasn't able to find. I couldn't, uh, I'm destroyed that I wasn't able to find the most important piece. Uh, I'd rather dwell on the fact of what we did get, so we'll take a minute to set this up and let you guys have a look back to World War II. Okay guys, out of respect for the artifacts, I'm wearing gloves. I'm sure right now Ebomi's all excited. Anyways, back on to it. As you can see right here, this is from where I'm from right here. This is the Portland Press Herald, December 8th, 1941. This is that uh, paper from the day that lives on in infamy. Now we're going to move that off to the side here. What we wound up with also were two, not one, but two. All right. These are the books from the commissioning of the USS Pasadena. I'm trying to be as gentle with everything as I can be. All right. It's in uh, the Bethlehem Steel Company, Quincy Yard, Quincy, Mass. All right. It's February. Let's see. The keel was laid February 6, 1943, and was launched December 28, 1943, and commissioned on June 8, 1944. Alright, this one, let's just be real easy and take a look here. Talks about who was there, let's see. Who the chaplain was, let's see, Rear Admiral uh, Tabald, I guess it is, was there. Let's see, Captain was Captain R.B. Tugler, he was the commanding officer. And the flag picture in the back, we have two of those on their way to a dumpster, if you can believe that. We'll set those off to the side. This is the Homeward Bound Pendant. Let me make sure I can get that so you guys can actually get a good look at that. That's the Homeward Bound Pendant. This was, let's see, these were all to A.P. Theralt. I guess that's his name. But that was amazing. Still vibrant colors. Getting ready to send that one to a dumpster. Really uh, amazing. That's the departed the U.S. on 14 October 1944, returned to the U.S. 9 February 1946. <clears throat> S1 slash C, 2nd Division, Portland, Maine. I have his Albert P. Thuralt. This, uh, this is his Pack Fleet, Triple One, uh, rank of Seaman First Class. Gives his service number and the date. I guess this is. Allowed to wear the ribbons, indicated on the reverse side. Okay, this is his, I guess, his card that lets him know. Oh, yeah. This is the one that allows him to wear the ribbons that are indicated. I guess it's the Navy Cross, Legion of Merit, Silver Star, Distinguished Flying Cross, Navy and Marine Corps Medal, Bronze Star, the Air Medal, Purple Heart. Presidential Unit Citation, Navy Unit Accommodation. He is also awarded the European African Middle East Medal, 
Good Conduct Naval Reserve, Naval Expert Rifleman, and Naval Expert Pistol Shot. It's just damn cool, isn't it? We're taking a look back in history. This was all on its way to a dumpster, guys. A dumpster. And this one here, <clears throat> USS Pasadena. Albert Paul Thorell Jr. was present on Tokyo Bay on the 2nd of 1945, September 2nd, at the signing of the surrender of the Allied Nations by the Japanese. Rear Admiral, uh, I can't quite say, Jones, Commander of the Task Force, Commander of the U.S. Navy Executive Officer, Hal J. something, Halifaran. These are their actual signatures. This is freaking crazy. Going to a dumpster. I'm appalled. I'm appalled. It was also... This is a an inspection ticket, all right, from the USS Pasadena, February 10th, 1946. Inspected and passed as an authorized military souvenir, one Japanese rifle, serial number 27022, with bayonet and sheath attached, serial number of none, property of AP Thrault. Sorry about the bang there. Isn't that crazy, guys? That's awesome. I mean, I'm blown away. All of this history, and it just keeps going. Since he was at the commissioning, he is a plank owner. That means when the vessel is decommissioned and I guess tore up to scrap, it's, uh, they send pieces of the planks to the plank owners. And that, like you heard me talk about earlier, guys, that is the saddest part of it, is I do not have that piece. Or I would have all of it and it would be such a beautiful beautiful thing to have in a, in a museum or, or, or someone who's really 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 uh, interested I just can't see this go in a dumpster it drives me absolutely crazy and that's something else huh beautiful condition also on its way to a dumpster I have the USS Pasadena at sea it is their Thanksgiving Day, 1944. It's their menu. <clears throat> Cream of tomato soup, saltines, <laughs> oyster cocktail, turkey, giblet, giblet gravy, sauces, dressing, candy, sweet potatoes. All the regulars. Hard candy, cigars, and cigarettes. Look at there, huh? <clears throat> Something else, isn't it? That's just amazing, and that was from Thanksgiving 1944.